Hi everyone, I'm Javi, and I don't know if you've seen, but when a cinematic plays, you can still move. So you can even get out of the shot. So in this video, I will show you how to freeze the player while a cinematic is playing. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Here we are in UEFN. We have the trigger, the cinematic sequence device that, play, that plays LS freeze, which is the cinematic right here that you just saw. So in order to freeze the player or disable the movement of the player, we're going to be creating a mutator zone. So let's go to content browser, Fortnite, and search for mutator. And here we have a mutator zone and we're going to be dragging it here. It is important that the mutator zone is bigger than the trigger that you want. So if it's a button, if it's a platform, if it's something like picking up a weapon and that triggers the cinematic, you need to be sure that the player will be inside the mutator zone when that trigger happens. So in my case, since the trigger is a platform, I just need the mutator zone to be bigger than the platform. I'm going to be putting the mutator zone a little bit under just so we can see the trigger. And now with the mutator zone selected, I'm going to delete this, but with the mutator zone selected, we can go here and see how we want this mutator zone to affect the player. So what I want it to do is to not allow jumping. So let's take this off. The movement multiplier, I want to put it on zero. I want the player to have no movement whatsoever. I'm going to take this, enable VFX, so it doesn't allow any VFX. Allow building, I'm going to take that off as well. Allow editing, no, and I want it to affect players. If you want your mutator zone to be bigger, you can modify the scale over here. In my case, it works like this, so I'm going to leave those values like that. And here where it says enable on face, I'm going to click none because I want that mutator zone to be activated only by the player when it activates the cinematic. So now what our mutator zone does is disabling movement for the player, right? We need to choose when we want this mutator zone to activate and when we want to disable this mutator zone. So to activate it, I want it to activate when the player press this trigger. So in order to enable this mutator zone, I'm going to be clicking here. We are going to, with this drop, we're going to pick the trigger and we want the mutator zone to enable when the trigger is triggered, right? So the player steps on the trigger, it plays the cinematic and the mutator zone activates. So it disables the movement. Now we want it to disable when the cinematic ends. So now we go here to disable, press here. And now with this drop, we're going to be picking the cinematic sequence device. And now we go here and press on stopped, right? So when the player steps on the trigger, it disables the movement. When the cinematic stops, then the mutator zone gets disabled and the player gets to move freely again. So now I'm going to save and I'm going to push changes so we can see it in gameplay and see how it works. Okay, so now let's see if it worked. So I'll go here and as you can see, I can't move, I can't jump. And when the cinematic ends, I can move freely again. One thing you need to take into account is that the player can still turn. That's something that can't be disabled by the mutator zone but that's the only kind of movement that the player can do. If we go back here, you can still check the mutator zone for other things that you want the player to not be able to do. So you can, for example, not allow the emote wheel or you can allow weapon fire if that's something that you want. You can check all the settings on the mutator zone and modify them depending on what you want for your map. And that's it. That's how you freeze a player or disable the movement of the player while a cinematic is playing. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be highly appreciated. If you like this kind of content, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. I will be uploading many more tutorials on cinematics and other types of content. I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.